Hello everyone. I'm back. If you remember in my previous video you were studied about the northern plains. Now I am going to explain about the peninsular plateau. The peninsular plateau is located to the south of the northern plains. It is triangular in shape. The relief is highly uneven. It means different in height. Here you can find several hill ranges and valleys. For example, Aravli Hills, one of the oldest ranges of the world, border it on the northwest side. Other important ranges are the Vindhyas and the Satpuras. The rivers Narmada and Tapi flow through these ranges. These are west flowing rivers that drain into the Arabian Sea. We also have east flowing rivers such as Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. They drain into the Bay of Bengal. These rivers have formed fertile deltas at their mouth. Can you tell me the name of the largest delta formed by the Ganga and the Brahmaputra rivers? Yes, you are right. It is the Sundarban delta. Now the most important landforms which you need to locate are two ghats. This is where most of the children make mistakes. You must be wondering what are ghats? They are the edge of plateaus. The western boundaries of plateaus are known as the western ghats or sahyadris whereas the eastern boundaries are known as the eastern ghats. Do you know the western ghats are almost continuous whereas the eastern ghats are broken and uneven. But why? Because Many rivers pass through these ghats such as Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. They break the eastern ghats and make their ways to enter in the Bay of Bengal. To the west of the western ghats and the east of the eastern ghats lie the coastal plains. The western coastal plains are very narrow whereas the eastern coastal plains are much broader. Can you think of the reason? It is because Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri rivers deposit sand and silt at the river's mouth which gradually increases the size of the eastern coastal plains. Hope this is clear to you. Now we will visit the islands. India has two groups of islands. The first one is the Andaman and Nicobar Islands which are located in the Bay of Bengal. And the second one is Lakshadweep Islands. They are located in the Arabian Sea. Lakshadweep Islands are coral islands located off the coast of Kerala. Do you know corals are skeletons of tiny marine animals called polyps. When the living polyps die, their skeletons are left. Other polyps grow on top of the hard skeleton, which grows higher and higher, thus forming the coral islands. Do you have any idea which group of islands was affected by the tsunami in 2004? If you want to know the answer, then you can watch my video on tsunami. The link is right there in the description box. Make sure to check it out. So children, that was all about India's physical features. Hope you found my video interesting. Do like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more such interesting videos. Thank you everyone.